Christine. Christine, Stephen King. Stephen King. Directed by John Carpenter. Had to do with Stephen King. I had suggested this because you had never seen it. I had never seen it. And, and I've seen like, a couple Stephen King. I was surprised because I feel like this one was like the one that like, I mean, The Shining, this, like, these were just like, there's a couple of like good old ones that you're just like, wow. Like even still hold up today. What I noticed, um, I had never seen the movie previously, but one thing that I noticed was like a show that had gotten inspiration that one particular episode of Futurama where Bender becomes a wear car. And yeah, no, it's funny because like seeing this movie, when I saw the car right away, the, the Cadillac, what is it? It's a, I think it's a Bel Air or something. Uh, probably a Cadillac Bel Air, hopefully. I don't know. I don't know cars. But I remember that the car that Bender turned into looked a lot like that. So it's like funny when you notice things that aren't the original source material, but then going back and then seeing the original source material and noticing like, Oh, that's oh, yeah, like something they, that I watched when I was a kid that where they draw the that totally got got that idea from it. That's what the spoof was. I mean, a lot of things like you, like get that. Like you ever seen Tire? Rubber, you mean? Rubber, yeah. yeah that's what you, that yeah, yeah, yeah. The one where it's just literally it's a tire. The tire, yeah. That has like it's nine like, powers. Yeah, like that, that one craziness. sucks. Though. Yeah, but like that crazy, like you know what I mean? Like an inanimate object just getting powers. You know? Do we know of any other inanimate object movies that's not like? like Ex Machina or something where it's like a... Oh, the, man, that would be what the amazing. modern answer to that would be. Yeah. If there would be a Christine made now, it would be like a Tesla self-driving car that would have like its own voice. Which would... I think that would be good. You think I so? I think that would be a cool movie. Yeah. yeah. Who, who would they get to be the kid? I don't know. Like because Stranger Things kid? kid. Was like good. Yeah, I mean... No, it would have to be someone who like, like looks young. You know what I mean? But is a bit older. Have you seen the movie Good Boys? Good Boys. With the three kids. And I don't know their names either, but the one that's the dramatic one, that's the singer and dancer. She's I think if they made it today, they would definitely throw in a curveball and make the person, like, make love to it, which would be weird, but... But that's a thing, though. There should be a that is a Stephen thing. King, how about that? Isn't that on A Thousand Ways to Die? Like, isn't that like one of the episodes where like a dude would bang his car with like with a koozie and like the okay. tailpipe? I'm sure. I mean, were there any but, scenes you enjoyed? I mean, I liked all of the car regenerating things. Yeah. Those were really, really cool. See, I like when like the fat bully, like when he was like trying to like destroy it and it came back and it just like literally like cornered him and just started tearing up like its side to get him and crush him. Mm -hmm. That was like a sweet kill. That would... That was, that was like good, and then it just backed slowly back down. I'm, I'm a sucker for really narcissistic moments, and the one, the scene, like towards the end when him and his friend are driving in the car together, and he's talking about how a, a certain woman brings out the best in a man, oh, yeah. and things like that, and he thinks that he's talking, his friend thinks that he's talking about his girlfriend, yeah. and he's like, no, what are you talking about? I'm talking about Christine. Yeah. He's just fallen in love with this succubus car. But then he tries to run her over, and dies just get stabbed and then he's like best option pull it out die instantaneously yeah and he gives his car a good little uh, rub down fingering mm -hmm. the budget of this you'd say a lot of these kills were spent off camera not a lot of like good running you not that there would be anyway how, how many times do you shoot someone getting run over it's a very different type of horror movie and like back then it's like you just obviously have to use like a dummy I can't even imagine this scaring you in the 80s, though. A movie like this. No. Like a car. No, but it's not. It's more of like a thriller. It's not like it, but it's like a thriller. Yeah, I would say it's the least scary Stephen King movie I've seen. Like the one where the guy like writes the things and he's like stuck and he like broke his leg. Like there's plenty of good ones. There's some bad ones. The ones on Netflix are pretty good. Like if yeah. he's gonna start rebooting things, like just just reboot all like the classic ones. He did like um, like Christine with a Tesla. Uh, it would be funny. I mean, it would be great for Elon Musk. He'd just fun to be like a little. Well, yeah. Side paycheck for him, like um, because that's the that's the thing. Whenever it's technology, it's always AI technology. And yeah, pre yeah like, this even and predates the internet. It, so could, it could talk to you, like like the Tesla would like talk. It could like put on the fire setting when he's like alone in it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Present itself, open its doors for him. It would be. It would probably make a great movie. 
But or would it be like a classic car, like another classic car? Because even in that movie, it's it's a sort of classic car because it's like a '50s, I believe. And imagine how like much broken pieces of that car that they had to have for that filming I mean, back then. Yeah, and how then many of those different all... cars did they fuck up? I'm not sure about that. Probably a decent amount of them. And that probably costs a lot into itself. I mean, or, for the... or they had like X amount and this one was for this and you would just like replace some like panels on it where this one was for this, you know? Quite possibly, yeah. Like at the end, that, that like the one that gets crushed, it had to be a just one that was already going to be junk that just so happened to be red. I mean, how many spooky ghosts did you give this one? This one, it's cool and it's fun, and I, I love a good soundtrack, but I wouldn't particularly rate this very high. I'd probably give this two spooky ghosts. Maybe a 1.75 spooky ghosts out of okay. five spooky ghosts. But fun and clever and interesting. And would recommend is something that, like I said, I was able to spot something that other shows had drawn like yeah. their, their influence from. And the scene beginning off with Bad to the Bone and ending with Bad to the yeah. Bone. Little things. Okay. We, can, we remember, I can't recall specifically, but we've seen plenty of car scenes that have involved Bad to the Bone whether it's a car commercial or something from the movie. Yeah. So, it's nice to see original source material for things that are taken from by a lot of modern films. So that alone would give for my recommendation. Just don't get mad at me if you're like, oh, it's just like a car. Because it's just a car. It is. But it's a fucking nice car. I would give it like 1.1 1, 1. 1 spooky ghost. It's like a cult classic. You know, just like The Shining was. You know what I mean? It's just like... But The Shining's like... Yeah, it was great, but it, it like, at the time, it was just like that. There was The Shining. You know what I mean? But this wasn't The Shining. No. It was Christine. 